All right, hello everyone. I am back here at the uh, police station and decided to give this another shot. I didn't bring a ton of stuff here. I brought like five VSS, one shotgun, uh, like three saw blade maces, a katana or two, and some machetes and three sets of armor and some heels, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, I also brought a water to bring here just so I don't have to keep getting thirsty and stuff. So I'll just keep this here and keep using it. Uh, as far as, um, you know, how far I got was level 21. I'm going to go ahead and try level 22, which might end up killing me because I don't have enough gun to do it all. But uh, I'll just switch to melee to finish off what I have to. And hopefully, hopefully I don't die. So we'll see. Um... And I'll just kind of show you some some of the stuff I'm kind of figuring out here. Uh, so first off, what you want to do is um, is uh, make sure that double check between each wave that your armor is good, that you're fully healed, that you have the weapons to get through what you need to get through. So that's like the number one important thing I'm I'm seeing here. It's probably worth always having SWAT boots on. Um, definitely in, in the in the higher waves and uh, so but the other thing here is is you if you have active skills don't forget about those um, I didn't even think about that on my first go around here but I have sprint now it's the only active skill I have and that definitely can save you from getting hit a few times it, it takes a little while to recharge your active skill so after each wave is over if you just are patient and wait a little bit uh, you can use that each each uh, round and that will definitely uh, Help out especially early on usually what you're going to get is some exploders and you know the fast guys And once those if you use the sprint during that time Or a roll or whatever is whatever you have that will work for you um, That's the best time to use it. You know when you're just walking around killing the brawlers. That's like no big deal You're just basically burning through guns um, and the, you know, obviously the shield guys, I find on the shield guys, the katana works the best. Uh, the machete wasn't working for me at all. Uh, the range just isn't there. And even the saw blade mace, I was, it was so slow, even though it has the range, it's slow. Uh, I don't know if my, uh, faster skull crusher modica modification I have might work well for those guys, but I'm definitely going to try that. Um, since, uh, katanas are usually something to save, but you know, this is a good time to use them, I guess. So let's see how this goes, see if I die here. But I'll show you what I, what I tend to do here is uh, just maybe take a hit on this first round. I'll use my speed. Definitely don't waste a shot trying to kill the uh, exploder before it explodes. Okay. So now the problem is I gotta kill these guys with melee and that could cause me to die pretty quick so we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately there's no way to separate them. Well, kind of. What I need to be doing is focusing on the weakest one. And there he is. There we go. No luck on that one. Now if these were hungry chompers, I'd probably not survive because they would be healing themselves and it just wouldn't work out. So I kind of got lucky with what I got there. All right, so now let's find out what's in these uh, chests here. I won't be keeping machetes here. There's no point in that. Um, I will take... Uh, I'm not going to have room for this stuff, though. I was going to say I was going to take some of my broken down armor and recycle it, but... Uh, yeah. 
I think I'm going to be having too much stuff here. So surrender. Okay. S no keys. So uh, I couldn't find any keys killing those guys. I don't know if you get keys through there or what. I don't know if anything's in here besides just the little junk that I found, but um, I kind of thought I could eventually open those, finding more keys. All right, so here's the deal. I watched JCS video on this, and it's really interesting the way they design this. Um, if you if you really save these things up for the purple one, you get one box that's got really good loot, but it takes a ton of this stuff to save up to that point to open it. And maybe that's worth it to you, but I don't really know. Apparently you get mods in the in the green, common mods. You get rares from the blues and, and ec extremely rares from the purple. So the thing is, is that uh, the common mods just, I don't know if they're really worthwhile. Most common mods are not what you're looking for in general. They're never going to be the top mod or... They are sometimes, but rarely are they the top mod for a weapon, and you always want the best mod you can get. Uh, so why would you really waste your time going for commons if, unless, unless I mean, unless you're really a newer player? I don't know. For me, for anyone who's played this game for a while, you definitely wouldn't want to do it. If you're kind of a newer mid-range player, maybe that would make sense for you. Um, I'm not sure, but I. So, and then the purples are just like, it takes so, so many to, to get it. I mean, like, I would need 10 blues just to get one purple. And if I were to get that, it's, it's just, uh, the chances that I'm going to get one I've already had is like high, sort of. I mean, it's going to be something good, but if it's something that I've already got, it's just straight in the trash, so... Uh, there's lots of blue ones that are good, and the blue isn't too hard to get so far. I've had uh, a couple of blue ones drop, and you know it takes a lot to get a blue when you're going from brown. So I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure that the best thing to do for me, at least, is to go straight for blues every time. I think these brown ones are always going to be useless. That's pretty much just for brand new players, I think. Um, green, uh, you know, it could be worthwhile, but I'm going to hold off. And purple, I just can't see ever doing that. Apparently there's energy drinks and Winchesters and things that you can get. I, I, I've heard that there's Winchesters in the game. So um, even though I don't see them in the mod table. So I think what I'm going to do here is, is just go for the blues. And let's see how this works. So one ticket equals one chest here. Uh, you should also definitely make sure that your you your uh, your dogs are fed for this, because I'm just imagining that's going to affect the luck for what you get in here. I assume. I don't know. So I can only get three shots with blue, so if I want to do any more until this thing resets, I'm going to have to do green. Or I can just save them up. Okay. Lightweight shutter. Not the elite shutter, and I think that's probably a purple one, but... And I think really that's the only one worth even really getting. Okay, I already have that. Extended mag, so yeah, that kind of sucks. So I got three that I got one I don't think I'm going to use. I'll have to look at it again. And these two I already have. And here is the Winchester. All right, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to get my stuff out of here. I mean, a couple of weapons to replace the cost of the weapons. I mean, that's another thing to consider is you're going to be burning through a lot of weapons doing this stuff. So this is the only time you really get a chance to replace them. Uh, five ESS and a shotgun and it's being replaced with a Winchester. 
another shotgun and three Glocks. Obviously not a great deal, but then there's the mods too and lenses. Um, so I'm going to pause it here and put some of the stuff away and then I think I'm going to open up these green ones just just for the just for the hell of it. So just hold on. Okay, so I guess another thing to mention is that each of these three also has a full set of um, tactical armor, level three armor. So I mean that is a, a that's a consideration. You're using less armor really than what you are getting back in rewards. So that's kind of a decent thing, even though the weapons don't quite replace themselves. So. I'm guessing if I'm sticking with blue like I'm probably going to be doing for the most part. I don't know. I got to look at the mods, see what mods I'm missing, uh, what the likelihood is and all that stuff. But um, I'm probably going to be using tactical and just maybe SWAT boots when I do this thing normally. Just to keep make sure I'm using what I'm earning. Uh, let's go ahead and try out these green ones. No more tries. So, uh, hmm. I, th I thought when I took my last one, these things would empty. So I don't know how that works. How do I get those gone so I can try something else? Or is that really all I get to do? Uh, also, you're going to apparently have to make use of more storage here. I threw some stuff in here, and there's other chests you can use, so... I'll be trying those out. Did I miss something here? Oh, okay. I didn't even notice this. So apparently I can open more if I get these things working. That's interesting. Circuits. Bunch of circuits. I don't have tungsten. So, huh. So maybe if I want to open more, I'm going to have to pop these guys open, and I can't do anything until the bunk this uh, police station resets on these. Okay, so let me just see what I can do about that. Hold on. So I didn't really mention, but uh, the first time I went through there, I used up maybe three VSSs, or maybe it was two VSS and a couple M16s. I think that's what it was. So that counted towards the cost of doing it. So it was very expensive, I would say, overall to do that uh, gun-wise. I don't think there's a really great way of doing it with melee that's going to work out very well. So, I mean, you can definitely do some of it with melee and burn through more of your armor. Um, this Winchester here... I don't know. It's not on here, so... I guess maybe the next update we'll get some Winchester. Can't, can't do anything on it. Alright, let me finish putting this stuff away and I'll be back there. So there it is, my new trophy gun. Until I get a bunch more of these, or they become easier to get, I'm not going to be using them. I'm definitely not going to be using them until I modify them quite a bit. So it goes in the uh, trophy stack. I really need to make a bigger vault here. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I have the steel to do it. I could add a second room here, but I don't know where I would want it. Whatever. All right, let's head back on over with my stuff. Hold on. All right, let's do this here. Um, 40 of you, plates, hopefully I brought everything, finalize, okay, circuits, oh, I messed up, uh, okay, be right back. All right, so let's just uh, pretend that never happened here. Ta-da! Okay, so I was giving this some thought here, and 
I definitely don't want to open up these green cards here. I didn't realize how this worked before I really came over here and did this. I thought I could just keep opening up as much as I wanted, but apparently you're limited to five if you're going to open these two up and that's every three days. So if I open up two more green ones, I can't do anything except start saving up cards for the next go around. I'm definitely going to want to come back here over the course of these three days. So I might as well just save them for the blue. Although, like I said, I'm going to go through my mods, figure out how many blues I need, how many purples I need, and how many commons that are the best mod that is a common that I need to really find out where I should be investing my cards. Um, and I'm going to kind of go from there. So uh and then you know if if I keep uh chipping away at this I can always I can always um start saving up for the next 3 days when I can open up more so I mean you can use that time to just keep building up I could definitely open up two green ones here and then just come back here two or three more times uh as far as like getting to level 99 like JCF is, says he's going to do today um I think it would take just about every gun I have at home to do that um, at the rate it's going. I mean, definitely all my VSSs. Um, maybe not every gun I have, but uh, I think that would be incredibly expensive to do that. Uh, so as far as what's the sweet spot and, and what, what you should be shooting for and stuff, I don't really know. I, I think... I don't know if purples are, are a possible drop. If is, Do you ever want to try to trade them for purple? If every once in a while you're going to get one drop anyways, then maybe not, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. For right now, I'm just going to finish up this video by going to the bunker and um, trading in a couple mods and see if I get lucky again there. Okay, so just a second. Okay, so as far as this lightweight shutter goes... Um, let me see if I can confirm this here. Where are they? So it's apparently the second one here is the lightweight shutter. It's the rare one. Assuming that accurately relates over to here. So this should be the lightweight, which is kind of weird. I mean, either this one is or this one, I don't know, without doing it or checking somebody else's video. But uh, both of these here, it's like a little bit of speed, well, more speed on this one and a little bit of critical chance versus less speed and some more critical damage but compared to this one that gives you the main damage plus the speed and the critical damage, I don't, I don't think it's really worth doing that. So I'm gonna not do it. I'll trade it in. I'll hold on to it for now, but I'm gonna trade in the other, these other ones I got right now. So I'll see you at the bunker. You know, one of the uh, coolest active skills they could add to this game would be the ability to run while shooting. I highly doubt they're ever going to add that, but that would be pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. Second chance. Uh, if I had one more common mod, I could have done a third one. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Take. Bye-bye. Take. Please be lucky. Oh, horrible, horrible. Okay, well, I actually have enough. I could go do this again. Okay, here we go. Pretty please with cherries on top. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't think that's a good one. Better than the other ones I had. All 
All right, well, I got to go look into that one. All right, well, that's it. Uh, hope you got something out of this video. Um, I definitely need to take a look and see what I really want to do with these uh, cards and um, go from there. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.